because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut, shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast, and we are going to make this one quick, Aki, because uh, I want to go out and watch the fight, and uh, you've got other things to do. Yeah, we will definitely leave it there. But one minute you're in the ring, next minute you're in the corner, but a fantastic night for yourself and your team all round, I'm assuming. Yeah, great night, you know, two good wins. Um, and yeah, uh, on to the next one. Obviously, your fight first. How did you find it in there? Yeah, you know, um, I felt like I was in control uh, in the first sort of five rounds. Um, sort of fell asleep a little bit, um, got a bit complacent, got yeah. caught with a shot, went down, yeah. got back up, and um, sort of yeah, came back into the fight uh, in the later rounds again. In round seven, eight, you know, was sort of yeah. back in there really, and um, yeah, all good learning for me. Sort of experience going through the rounds. You know, I can't, I need to learn to not switch off and stay on, on stay on the ball and stay alert and stay sharp. Yeah. Do you feel like you needed that? If you're going to move up the levels, you need to overcome a little bit of adversity along the way, don't you? Yeah, 100%. You know, it's all learning and it's all experiences in the bank for me at this stage of my career, 100%, yeah. Surely next step titles? Yeah, you know, we'll have to sit with, uh, obviously, my team, Steve Wood, Jamie Moore and uh, Eddie, obviously, and see, see what's next. But, um, listen, uh, we'll see what, what, what the plans are, yeah. No one you want to call out for a title? Uh, not yet, no. <laughs> not yet. And Jack Catterall then, he comes back after such a long layoff and kind of does the business that we all know he can do and he's capable of doing on any given night. From your corner perspective, how did you find his performance? Yeah, buzzing for him, you know. It's good to see him back and uh, hopefully Eddie obviously wants to keep him active now. And it's something that he deserves because he's in the gym all the time. And I think the more he fights, you know, we, we've not seen anywhere near the level Jack can box at yet and that's a big statement considering what he did last time out and tonight as well so um, with with activity and fight, regular fights I believe that you know you'll see that he's the number 140 pound fighter in the world yeah world title shot next for him yeah you know I think uh, he's ready for it and uh, he showed last time out that um, don't want to keep going on about it but he showed where he is and, and his level really so yeah he belongs in them fights Excellent. I think we're going to go and watch the main event. So thank you very much for being to IFL TV and congratulations on tonight, mate. Thank you, mate. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shut up, up Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.